Welcome to this EliteTutoring.ca video on refinancing a mortgage. In this video, we will have to decide whether or not we should refinance our mortgage early when considering the new interest rate and the penalty we will incur. Through this problem, we will be doing present value of annuity calculations, as well as calculating an effective annual rate and then converting that to a monthly rate. We'll set up a pretty typical refinance problem here. Suppose two years ago you got a mortgage for $350,000 with a 5-year fixed rate of 5.25% and a 20-year amortization period. You want to know if you should refinance today at a 3-year fixed rate of 4.50% with an 18-year amortization period with a penalty of one month's payment of your current mortgage. Both mortgages have monthly payments. Converting the rate. Before we start, I need you to remember that mortgage rates are given or stated as an annual percentage rate, or APR for short, with semi-annual compounding. Okay, this is always assumed. So our first step is to calculate the mortgage payment, but to do that, we're going to have to convert the rate that we've been given, which is semi-annually compounding, first to an annually compounding rate, called the effective annual rate, and then we will convert that into a monthly rate. Typically we see monthly or even more frequent such as bi-weekly or weekly mortgage payments but the mortgage rate stated is always semi-annually compounding. So we will need to convert that semi-annually compounding rate to be compounding at the same frequency as our mortgage payments. So that's why in this problem we need to get a monthly compounding rate. So here's the formula to calculate the effective annual rate, or EAR, from a semi-annual compounding rate. So you'll see that it's EAR equals 1 plus the APR, which is the stated rate they've given you, divided by 2, all to the power of 2, and then minus 1. Doing this calculation, we're going to get an effective annual rate of 5.3189%. So now we have the second part of converting our rate. We have the effective annual rate, and we need it to now be a monthly rate. So here's your formula for a monthly rate. Okay, um, It equals 1 plus the effective annual rate, all to the power of 1 divided by 12. Obviously, the 12 is coming from the fact that it's a monthly rate. And then minus 1. Okay, So doing that, again, we input our effective annual rate here as a decimal. So we'll have to multiply by 100 in order to get our answer back into a percentage. Okay, so it's 0.4328% that we have gotten. So calculating the current mortgage payment. We can finally do that now that we've got our rate, our interest rate, of 0.4328%. Again, that's a monthly rate. Now everything is... Um, monthly here, so we have to check. Okay, so we've got a monthly rate, we've got our payments have to be months, so we have 20 years left on the mortgage, okay, because we're getting our current mortgage payments. So we're going to do this as if we started day one of getting a mortgage to get our payment, okay, because that's how they calculated what our payment will be. So there was 20 years amortization, uh, 12 months in a year, so multiply those out, you get 240 payments that we'd be making over the life of this mortgage. Okay, uh, the amount that we had financed was $350,000, so that's the present value, okay, and the payment is the unknown. So this is the information that you would be putting into your financial calculator, okay, and the financial calculator does take um, the interest rate as a percentage, so you would put in 0 0.4328, okay? And sometimes you have to put future value equals zero um, for that calculator. You can check. Thanks for watching this video on refinancing a mortgage. You can watch the full video at elitetutoring.ca where I complete the problem and give you the answer on whether or not we should refinance.